The lesson outcome for this video is I can write linear equations from given information. So, we have this equation y equals mx plus b. This is a linear equation. Again, we're still dealing with our linear equations, um, which means they are lines when we graph them. And in this linear equation, y equals mx plus b, we, we have to remember that m, this is in slope-intercept form, this m here represents our slope, and b represents our y-intercept. So in this unit, instead of having an equation and graphing it, what we're going to have is some given information, as I was mentioning in the lesson outcome, some given information, some information I give you, and then we are going to have to write the equation with that information. So we're going to be writing the equation. So this first example says, write the equation of the line that has a slope of 3 and a y-intercept of negative 7. So our job now is to pull out the key information. Obviously, we're probably going to be using this 3 here. It says slope of 3. And this negative 7 here, it says the y-intercept is 7. So we're just going to have to put those in the right location in our equation, y equals mx plus b. So here's the equation. And now we're going to go ahead and put 3 in for our slope. Again, slope is the m, which is the coefficient of the x term. So we're going to write y, sorry, y equals the m, slope is 3x, and then our y-intercept, this is our plus b, is our y-intercept, the y-intercept is negative 7. So we can write plus negative 7, or we can write minus 7. Again, plus negative 7 would have worked just as fine. So we wrote the equation with the given information that the slope is 3 and the y-intercept is negative 7. Okay, so go ahead, pause the video, and then come back and check to see how you did on writing the equations for these. All right, so I have slope of 1 half, so I'm going to go ahead and just write down m equals 1 half, and then I have my y-intercept of 4, so I'm going to write b equals 4. If I write my important key information, then writing the equation is not going to be very difficult. So y equals mx plus b. Again, m is our slope, and b is our y-intercept, so we're going to put the values in where they go. y equals, the slope is right here, 1 half, x plus 4. Okay. The second example, again, I'm going to write my slope down. It says right here, slope is 4. And I'm going to write down my y-intercept. My y-intercept is 0. So to write my equation, I'm going to fill in my slope, and I'm going to fill in my y-intercept. My slope is 4, plus my y-intercept is 0. Notice we don't need that 0 there, plus 0. Adding 0 doesn't change anything. I'm just going to go ahead and erase that. And our equation is y equals 4x. It wouldn't be wrong if you left the plus zero, but it's better math if you don't. In this case, m equals slope of zero, it says, and our y-intercept is negative 14. So I'm going to write y equals mx plus b yet again. If you write it, you're going to make less mistakes. m is our slope, and b is our y-intercept. So we're going to write y equals our slope, zero, x, and then we've got our y-intercept is negative 14. Now I'm going to actually write then plus, I can write plus negative 14, or I could have just written minus 14. Once again, we know that 0x, 0 times anything is 0, so that goes away. So we've got y equals plus negative 14, so y equals negative 14 is our equation. Remember from previous units that y equals negative 14 simply means that we have a line that is horizontal at negative 14. The next way that we're going to work on writing the equation of a line is based on the graph. So here we have an example of a graph and we are our job is to write the equation for the line that is shown. 
So once again, I'm going to start by writing y equals mx plus b and realize that if we want to write this equation, we need to know what is m and what is b. Okay, so it probably would work best to go off maybe to the side and write down what is m and what is b. So m is the slope we need to know the slope of this line. Now since we have the graph right in front of us, we can actually just go to the graph, pick a point to start on, like for example this one, and then count our slope, which is our rise and our run, to get from here to, for example, right here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to, since those points are shown on the graph, we're going to go ahead and use those. So this point right here, to uh, find our slope, we're going to say how much do we have to rise and then how much do we have to run to get to the other point. So from here we have to rise 1, 2, so up 2, and then we have to run 1, 2 to get here. Notice we moved up and right, and those are both positive. So our slope was up 2 and right 2, and 2 over 2 is 1. So our slope is 1. You'll notice, actually, if I had gone from this point right here to this point right here, we would have noticed that right away. Rise 1, run 1. Rise 1, run 1. That's what's going on through this whole graph, or line. Now B. B is our y-intercept, so we just have to know where does it cross this y-axis. Well, it crosses the y-axis right here at the point 0, 1. Of course, the x-value is 0 because the y-intercept has an x-value of 0, and the y-value is 1. So our, our y-intercept is also 1. So when we plug these values into our equation, y equals m is 1, x plus b, and b is 1, there's our equation, y equals 1x plus 1. Or you could have just written y equals x plus 1. Alright, so the second one down here, again, let's write down our slope and let's write down our y-intercept. Our slope, alright, so again, there are already two points shown on this graph. If there weren't points, you could just find them yourself. Here's a point that would work, here's a point that would work. Um, this is a point on the line as well, but it's kind of a, a messy value for x and y, so we probably don't want to use that one. All right, so I'm going to use this point that's shown, and I'm going to use this point down here that's shown. So to get from this point to this point, I go down 2, 1, 2, right? Down 2 is going to be negative 2, and then I move right 1, 2, 3, 4. Down 2, right 4. So we're going to go over here and write down 2 and write 4. Notice negative 2 over 4 does simplify, but please remember it's not negative 2. 2 divided by 4 is 1 half. If you simplify, you get negative 1 over 2. B, our y-intercept. Again, we'll find that by just finding out where does it cross the y-axis. It crosses right here at, again, 0, 1, same as our last example, so 1 y equals negative one-half for our slope, x plus one. Okay, go ahead, pause the video, write down your equations for these two graphs, and then check back to see how you did. Okay, so for this first one, again, I'm going to write down what my slope is, I'm going to write down what my y-intercept is, and then I'm going to put them in the equation y equals mx plus b. Our slope for this one, from this point to this point, is up 1, right 3. So up 1 and right 3 is a positive 1 over a positive 3. My y-intercept crosses the y-axis at 2, so my y-intercept is 2. Now to write my equation with my slope here and my y-intercept here y equals slope is 1 third x plus 2. The second one alright so from this point to this point remember we can count the slope from this point to this point or from this point down to this point it doesn't change the slope. So from here I rise 1, 2, 3, 4, rise 4, and I'm running 1, 2, 3 to the left. So up positive 4, 
left is negative 3. So up positive 4, left negative 3. Okay, now you could have also had from this point to this point, you might have went down 4 and right 3. Now down 4 and right 3, down 4 and right 3 is actually going to have the same value for your slope. These are equal. So either one would be fine. The y-intercept is right here, and that cross is right on the origin, so that is a y-intercept of 0. To write my equation, y equals, again, either of these slopes works, 4 over negative 3x plus 0. Again, we don't need the plus 0, so we can erase that, and our equation is this.